Hi guys, welcome back to Eduit channel. So in this video, we will be dealing with the entomology and carology section. So we'll be dealing with the tabanus flies. So tabanus is a gen genus of biting horse flies. So they are normally called as horse flies. And the females have a scissor like mouth parts that main aim is to cut the skin and they will be sucking the blood out. So they are the main genus to be acting as the potential vectors in case of anthrax, many worms and in case of trypnosomiosis. So the taxonomy is Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, Class Insecta, Order Diptera, Suborder Brachycera, Family Tabanidae and Genus Tabanus. And actually the genus Tabanus comes under the division Orthorapha. So the facts, they are actually called as gadfly. And one of the most common species is the Tabanus lineola, which is having a green head. And the name is horseflies. So we'll be dealing with the name. Why it has got the name horsefly? So the common name is horseflies, breezeflies, blindfly, gadfly, marchfly, green headfly, and Tabanus bovinus, sometimes called as pale giant horsefly. So the morphology, they are the large robust flies that is 12 to 18 millimeter and compound eyes are large and dicoptic in female and holoptic in male. That's a very important point. In case of the mouth parts, it's the cutting and sponging type. This will be asked in many exams. And thorax and abdomen have longitudinal white stripes. This is also a very important one. So moving to the pathology, flies are mostly seen in the summer season and they are fond of the sunlight. And the female are known as very good blood suckers and they will be sucking uh, like 0.35 ml per day per flies. And they will be feeding for three days. Males actually do not feed on blood. They actually feed on the plant juices. And they are very, very uh, fond of honey. Yeah, moving to the vector potentiality. They can transmit anthrax, anaplasmosis. Yes, anaplasmosis marginal. And virus of equine infectious anemia. So there are many diseases transmitted by the vector tabanids. And tabanids act as the mechanical vectors for trypnosoma evansi and trypnosoma equinum, trypnosoma simiae, brucei, etc. And also trypnosoma thaleri in cattle, which is transmitted cyclically by tabanus and hematopota. Both of them has a good role in the vector potentiality in case of trypnosomiosis in cattle. So the control, we have to destruct the bleeding place, bleeding place and proper drainage. And we can go for pest control, natural pest control, that is ladybird, or the birds, we can use the birds which may eat the flies and we can kill the larva, we can use the larvicides, etc. So these are the flies, the banded flies. See the ocelli, this is the basal callus, this is the flagellum, flagellomius, see. So these are the flies. This is a very clear picture. See, they are actually biting on the uh, leg region or the inguinal region of the horses. So this is the life cycle. They will be producing eggs and they will be turned into larvae. They will be having a wet habit actually. And it will be converted to pupa. And then it will be producing adult. Thank you.